Aardvark. Remember the ant-eating animal from the Pink Panther cartoon series? That animal is called Aardvark, and in this video we're going to talk about this amazing beast in detail and shed some light on why it is amazingly unique. Yeah! Ooh, that's good! But first, make sure to like this video and hit that subscribe button for more amazing videos. Aardvarks are small, pale yellowish gray colored animals with elongated heads that have a pig-like feel to their appearance and are mostly found in various regions of Africa and the Sahara Desert. Their homes are self-made, deep burrows where they spend almost their entire day sleeping in, which is mostly probably a technique to escape the excessive heat of the African heat. After such an unproductive day, it comes out of its burrow during the evenings to search for food and since it is insectivorous, it mainly feeds on ants and termites. It preys on them using its sharp claws and strong legs. Also, did we mention that it can eat almost 50,000 ants in one go? We know you must be feeling puckish right now, but trust us, the aardvarks love eating them. The animal gets its name from the early African's language and means ground pig or earth pig in its literal sense as it spends most of its lifespan in the burrows. It is sometimes also referred to as an African ant bear and often an ant eater too. The aardvark somewhat closely resembles the South American anteater but it is not related to it in any aspect whatsoever. It is also not related to pigs despite its pig-like appearance. As rare as it is, it still has around 17 subspecies that have not been properly defined yet. Apart from its uncanny resemblance to pigs, some other bodily features include a long snout, an arched back, a stout frame, and coarse hair all over its body. It usually weighs around 60 to 80 kilograms and stands as tall as 105 to 130 centimeters. The animal's only major source of protecting itself is its hard skin and pair of nostrils that filter out the sand and dust during the extreme summers. It also has rabbit-like ears that can be folded to prevent dirt from entering the ears. It has spade-shaped feet and the limbs are comparatively medium in length. The back legs are usually longer than the front ones. Very rarely, the aardvarks can try and stand on their hind legs but only for a step or two before falling back to their forelegs. Another distinct feature, in contrast to the positive ones, is that the animal has poor eyesight. This is due to its lifestyle habits like living in burrows all day and emerging out of them only at night for food. Scientists have also suggested that the brains of the aardvarks are rather small in size and the animal isn't as bright in particular. The aardvark is often believed to be the only living member of the order Tabulidentata, belonging to the class of Mammalia. The teeth of the aardvark do not contain any enamel or even roots for that matter and are just tubes. In fact, the literal meaning of tubula dentata is tube tooth. The animal is much more developed as compared to other mammals in various aspects, one of them being its strong sense of smell, which does not have much to do with its nose but is relatively more related to a well-developed brain structure of the aardvark. However, its nose does seem to do wonders for it as it contains nine olfactory bulbs, which are probably the biggest as compared to any other mammal. Also, as we mentioned earlier, the aardvark has poor eyesight, hence the only remaining aspect that lets it find its prey is its nose. It adopts a unique strategy to come out of its burrows at night, wherein it waits at the end of the burrow for a few minutes, tries to smell or hear nearby insects, and then pounces on them for a good treat. The aardvark is a relatively fast animal too that can cover a distance of 10 meters within just a matter of a few seconds. During the Ice Age, the aardvarks were among the first group of animals to migrate to the south, 
Soon after reaching the southern valleys, they realized that a huge flood was most likely to hit the valley and prepare themselves to migrate again in search of a safer place, which they did eventually find. What's even more interesting than it being the only surviving member of its animal family is that it is also a living fossil as its structure and anatomy closely resembles some primitive organisms to a great extent and hasn't changed substantially to date. Some of the potential predator threats to the aardvark mostly include lions, leopards, hyenas, and pythons. Apart from them, humans also poach them for meat. While well, there are a few techniques that aardvark uses to escape a predator, the most commonly used techniques are to dig burrows to hide as they are quick diggers, and another one is to run fast in zigzag patterns to trick the enemy. It also uses its tail as a self-defense mechanism to protect itself at times. Under favorable and non-threatening life conditions, the aardvark can live up to 23 years. Since the animal is good at handling captivity, it can also be kept as a zoo animal. The London Zoo was the first zoo to have kept an aardvark in 1869. What contributes further to the uniqueness of this fascinating beast is the fact that it borrows its physical features from various different species of animals like pigs and rabbits. And hence, a lot of assumptions have been made in the past regarding its closest relative. The countless theories have been proved baseless and according to scientists, the closest relative to the aardvark is the elephant, interestingly enough. If we talk about its reproduction cycle, the aardvark has certain specific mating seasons that happen every year. Their birth-giving period depends on the types of regions they live in. In some regions, they might give birth from October to November, while in others, the birth happens from May to June. The gestation period is usually not that long, and a female aardvark gives birth to its offspring after a period of just seven months. The weight of the little aardvarks can be as low as two kilograms and it spends the first two weeks of its life living in underground burrows. So now we know where this habit comes from. After this brief period of two weeks, the mother takes her baby to search for food at night. This is because the baby is not fully capable of doing this on its own until it is two to three months old. The little aardvark only lives with its mother for as long as six months after being born and then moves out to live its independent life. In human language, it can be said that the aardvark reaches its legal age and can be called an adult after reaching six months of age and is now free to live life on its own terms. Another interesting fact is that as soon as a baby aardvark is born, it loses its front teeth, which never grow back again during its entire lifespan. Aardvark is one of the few animals who are not too noisy and only grunt softly as per the conditions. People have often witnessed aardvarks swimming freely even in strong currents and therefore are believed to be great swimmers. The aardvark usually prefers a lavish lifestyle and therefore it builds around three homes or burrows for it to live in. The three houses are used for resting, breeding and hunting purposes respectively. These burrows are known to reach up to 13 meters in length and can sometimes be big enough to accommodate a fully grown adult human inside. The aardvarks never live in a single burrow for a long period and keep changing their homes after regular intervals of time. The burrows they left behind are often adopted by other African animals like hyenas, owls, pythons and lizards among others. Aardvark also represents an important symbol of culture and heritage in Africa with various folklores and mythologies that revolve around it. One of the ancient Egyptian gods was also portrayed by a creature's head that looked very similar to the aardvarks. In certain cultural groups and tribes, the aardvark's teeth are highly valued for making bracelets, for good luck charms and souvenirs. The International Union for Conservation of Nature IUCN, had labeled the aardvark on the least concerned list despite their numbers decreasing at a rapid rate. However, we are not completely sure if the numbers are really decreasing or it is just that we don't get to see them that often due to their nocturnal habits. It is a rather debatable topic. There is, however, a questionable decline in the number of aardvarks in eastern, western, and northern Africa. Nevertheless, the numbers remain unaffected in southern Africa. What do you think of this beautiful beast? Let us know in the comments below and tell us what you would like to watch next time. See you later.